Welcome to another exciting episode from Marvelous Videos. I'm your host, Tia Ayer. Fearsome 5 DC Explored, a creation of George Perez and Marv Wolfman. Fearsome 5 first made an appearance back in January 1981 in the third issue of the New Teen Titans, and no points for guessing that they have been their reoccurring enemies of the Teen Titans ever since. While there is no denying that this group of supervillains here is quite powerful, yet there is this certain deficit of refinement amongst them especially as criminal planners that often classify them as filler villains. Alpha. Well then, gear yourselves up for today's video, where we will be exploring their origins and comic book appearances, along with some very interesting trivia about them. Are you ready? Let's do this. A winning record against her. I don't have to win. I only have to hold her attention on the psychic plane while you. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Your pathetic skills can't outshine the brilliance of Dr. Light. History of the Fearsome Five Explored Post several unsuccessful encounters with the Justice League, criminal physicist Arthur Light diverted his attention towards their sidekicks, the Teen Titans. He placed an advertisement in the Underworld Star, one that happened to be a criminal underground newsletter, and encouraged criminals to join him in ambushing the Teen Titans. Well, there were four of them who got back to him. Simon, Shimmer, Mammoth, and Gizmo. And that is how the Fearsome Five was established, with Arthur Light as their leader, of course. Call it sheer bad luck, but Light was thrashed yet again by the Teen Titans, and that episode was followed by him getting violently drummed out of his group as well. For those of you who are wondering what happened to the group next, well, Simon took charge and ambushed a Star Labs research facility, one that had Jinx and Neutron being held there. The duo decided to join the group and even with Neutron, eventually leaving the group, Jinx stayed back. With the multiverse catastrophe of Crisis making the apparent death of Simon, Fearsome Five came across Superman and this time with an addition of new members. The team had Mammoth, Gizmo, Shimmer, along with Charger and Deuce. The group broke up and went separate ways. <laughs> Of course, the group did not see Simon come back for the vengeance. That had been planned for his former squad members, especially Shimmer, Mammoth, and Gizmo. Simon tracked down Shimmer, who had relinquished her past life, along with her brother Mammoth, and was then living an untroubled, undisturbed life in a Tibetan monastery. Simon, making use of his psychic powers, transformed the body of Shimmer into glass and then simply smashed it. Speaking of Mammoth, he had a spear pierced through his head by Simon and made it alive by the narrowest margin possible. As for Gizmo, he was shrunk down to a subatomic size by Simon, but he managed to come back to his usual size later. In due course, Dr. Theta as Savannah assembled the members, Simon, Mammoth, Gizmo, Jinx, and even went to the extent of reviving Shimmer back to life. Mind you, the reconstructed villainous team is pretty dangerous and all is well if they can hold themselves back from eliminating each other. You're fast, but I doubt you'll enjoy moving at the speed of light. Team Evolution. Here, let us help you understand the evolution of the group through the ages. We will begin with the Bronze Age, which saw quite a bit of changes. For starters, the leadership usually fluctuated between Arthur Light and Simon, and the duo was seen getting outsed from the group in several circumstances. Jinx, along with Neutron, is seen joining the Fearsome Five in their villainous activities, and while the latter is seen leaving, she chose to stay. Next, we have the Modern Age, where one got to see Charger and Deuce instead of Arthur Light and Simon. We have already mentioned this before, and we are saying it again, that the group was eventually disbanded post their encounter with Superman. Anyway, the team was assembled back together by Dr. Thaddeus Savannah, and the lineup compromised Shimmer, Mammoth, Simon, Gizmo, Jinx, and also Sabak. Even after the death of Gizmo, the group hung on to the name Fearsome Five. It was only after the final crisis that the team was reconstructed with new members such as Calculator, Nano, and Rumble, besides Shimmer, Mammoth, and Jinx. <laughs> yeah! 
Then came New 52, one where the original members of the group gave the impression of being enlisted in the secret society of supervillains. But to be honest, it is still a bit uncertain whether they retained themselves as the Fearsome Five within that group, or they had their origin altered because the group consisted of Simon, Shimmer, Mammoth, Gizmo, and Jinx. Oh, too untrained. And not at all in my league. The first appearance of Fearsome Five in New Teen Titans Volume 1, Number 3. The Teen Titans are seen unwinding themselves at Wonder Girl's new apartment, and the readers learn that she and Starfire are going to be roommates. Starfire is seen reminiscing about her planet Tamaran and sighs at the fact that it has been so long since she had a real home. Parallelly, somewhere in the south and west part of New York City, the duo of Celinda and her brother Baron are seen coming to a particular meeting place based on an Underworld star ad, one that was on the lookout to recruit a super mob. But upon reaching the place, they are a bit startled to find that the doors are locked. With Baron attempting to smash the door down, Celinda stops him and instead uses her power of molecular reconstruction to open the door. As they go inside, a horde of weapons comes sliding out of the walls and starts firing at them. This is more than enough to irk Baran, and he ends up taking off the cloak that he was wearing all this time and addressing himself as Mammoth, taking charge of the weapons. After he is done dealing with the guns, he looks back at his sister who tells him that they have certainly come to the right place and that whoever is behind was simply testing their capabilities. Of course, she is proven right as Dr. Light greets them from the other room and introduces Simon and Gizmo to the brother-sister duo. With Celinda introducing herself and her brother as Shimmer and Mammoth, Dr. Light addresses his new team as the Fearsome Five, and their first mission would be to destroy the new Teen Titans. Your pathetic skills can't outshine the brilliance of Dr. Light! Coming back to Starfire, she is seen telling her gang how she was born into the house of Tikal. Despite being the princess of Tamaran, she was sold by her own father to the blood-hungry race Citadel as a negotiation to ensure peace amongst both races. This shocks the group to the core, but before they can ask her further questions, they are interrupted by Raven. Of course, Robin hates the fact that she appears all of a sudden, telling them to do things and disappears the minute she is done ordering them. So he raises a protest and, in other words, snaps at her. Kid Flash defends Raven and tells Robin to maintain a distance from her. Eventually, Raven tells the Titans about the Fearsome Five and their intentions only to have the superheroes end up attacking them. The battle gets pretty intense and the Fearsome Five gaining an upper hand and escaping from there. As the Master of Illumination wonders what it is that forced him out of there, Simon smiles to himself. After all, the Mind Master is hell-bent on being the leader of the group. Raven, on the other hand, is seen going to the powerful demon lord, Trigon, and telling him that she is quite aware of the fact that he is controlling the Fearsome Five. She further tells him how she has joined the Titans just so she could fight and leave. But you were never my father. Somewhere else in New York City, Silas Stone is seen paying a visit to his son at his apartment. Victor is clearly not happy about it and blames his father for his mother's death as well as his present condition. He tells him that he is pretty happy with the Titans and tells his father to leave immediately from his place. Victor shortly finds a postcard that's addressed to him. He has been invited to the opening of the Titans Tower the next day at noon. It is soon discovered that he is not the only Titan to have received an invitation. Every Titan has received the same postcard. They have been provided with a new headquarter, a huge T-shaped tower fully equipped with the latest technologies and weapons. The group is skeptical because they have no clue who built the tower in the first place and what was the reason behind it. Kid Flash has already checked the entire place by then and he still hasn't been able to find find anything that would link them to anybody. The message must be delivered. Suddenly, Raven appears at the headquarter out of nowhere and tells them that it's not the place that they should pay importance to, but to the mission that lies ahead of them. Robin is determined to get some answers and tells her that they would not go anywhere until she gives them the answers that they deserve. While Kid Flash tries to defend Raven again, 
The latter decides to give Robin, as well as the entire group, reasons enough to trust her. She tells them all about the immeasurable power of Trigon, his intentions of enslaving the entire planet, and that the only way to prevent this demonic entity from invading their planet is by going against their allies, the Justice League of America. Naturally, this comes as a complete shock to the Titans, and they not only have to battle the Justice League, but also defeat them. It is safe to say that they could not really make much out of the visions of Raven. Anyway, back at the headquarter of the Fearsome Five, Light is seen discussing with his team their strategy against the new Teen Titans. It is then that Simon discloses his real objective, openly stating that everything that has happened so far has occurred due to his execution. Using his psychic powers, he hits Light and further reveals how he even let Raven know of their current location. Mammoth tries to attack Simon, but Shimmer stops him from doing so, and instead asks Simon his side of the story. Simon tells them how he was earlier known as the physicist Simon Jones, and that he was obsessed when it came to working on experiments that would let him contact other dimensions. He was successful when Trigon contacted him, and the latter blessed him with immense psionic powers so as to serve his goals at the end of the day. So, when Simon fan lights ad in the Underworld Star, he joined the group with the only aim of carrying through Trigon's assignment. As part of his plan, Simon telepathically summons the new Teen Titans for a rematch. Your worst nightmare. And this is Attack Pattern Alpha. While Raven chooses to stay behind, Kid Flash decides to be with her too, and the rest of the Titans head towards the location of the Fearsome Five. Starfire is able to spot Mammoth from a great distance, and as they come closer, Light shoots a solid blast of energy at the group, one that has Robin falling deep into the river below. Borg tries attacking them using his sonic amplifier, but before he can make use of the device, Gizmo incapacitate Cyborg with his sonic totalizer. Starfire is already engaged in a fight with Dr. Light and urges Wonder Girl to help out Cyborg, but Gizmo already has plans for Starfire. Rather, he has a special Gizmo that will take lock her hands or, in other words, take care of her. Simon uses his psionic powers over Wonder Girl, making her incapable of moving even the slightest muscle. And then tapping her with a touch of his hand, he puts her in a deep sleep. Meanwhile, a drenched Robin who has just managed to get himself up back on the ship is rendered unconscious when he receives a massive blow from Mammoth. <laughs> Back at the Titan's Tower, Raven is seen engaging in a conversation with Kid Flash when it suddenly dawns upon her that after leaving for Starfire and Changeling, everybody else has been overpowered. Kid Flash rushes to help his friends out and is exceedingly disappointed to see Robin and Cyborg lying defeated on the ground. As for Starfire, she is finally able to get free from herself. From the shackles that Gizmo had placed on her, Changeling is seen to attack the Fearsome Five, surprising them in his bull avatar, but Prism puts him to sleep as well. Mammoth grabs Starfire by her hand and smashes her to the ground. And with Kid Flash racing towards Mammoth, Simon takes control of Mammoth's mind and makes him punch Kid Flash hard enough to knock him down. The Fearsome Five easily prove themselves to be victorious against the new Teen Titans. The issue ends with Raven on his way to pay a visit to the Justice League of America. A wolf is no threat when it's blind as a bat. What makes the members of the Fearsome Five such a deadly team? Arthur Light. Often addressed as the master of illumination, Arthur Light is a persistent enemy of the Teen Titans, and his name already implies the fact that he is categorically capable of influencing light energy for several purposes. Initially, he was required to wear his suit for that, but later on, he managed to use his powers without having his suit on. Well, if one is to go into the very details, Light is capable of controlling Light, which allows him to generate powerful blasts of energy, construct force fields, become invisible, as well as cast illusions. It's only natural on his part to charge himself up by absorbing Light from the adjoining areas and take charge of anything that shines. So right from Superman's laser eyes, the ring of Green Lantern, to the light that emits out of Wonder Girl's lasso, you know what we're talking about. To take things to the next level, light also has the ability to draw out energy that is not even being used in the first place and then use it as a weapon. Fair to say, he is dangerous. <laughs> Mammoth, also known as Baron Flinders, 
He happens to be your younger fraternal twin brother of Shimmer, a.k.a. Celinda Flinders. He specifically falls under the list of the founding members of the Fearsome Five, much like his sister, and is explicitly known for being in possession of a magnificent amount of physical strength. One thing's for sure, you don't want to annoy him because that is precisely when he becomes furiously strong and impervious to injury. He has fought against Superman and has survived, so you know what we are dealing with here. Gizmo. He is a genius. One who is all about science, engineering, and gadgets. Gizmo established himself as an inventor at a very early age and was capable of creating lethal weapons from existing household items like vacuums, spoons, and hair dryers, amongst many other things. He used to sell his inventions to various criminals and the only reason he joined the Fearsome Five was that he wanted to expand his business. Concerted. This is beneath me. Shimmer, take him. Shimmer. This metahuman here is capable of transforming matter, an ability that lets her change any element or compound for that matter. All she needs to do is hand gesture and voila, the job is done. She does not possess any combating skills as such, so it's fair to say that she is reliant on her fraternal twin brother for defense. Show me who, or rather what, you really are. Simon. A founding member of the group indeed, Simon possesses unbelievable amounts of telepathic and telekinetic powers. He is more than often seen making use of his psionic abilities to influence as well as mind control others. Oh, he's also quite capable of inducing exceeding amounts of genuine fear in them, from reading minds and casting illusions to moving objects. He's also very much capable of levitating himself. He is certainly not the one to be taken lightly. Jinx. This East Indian elemental sorcerer was broken out of the Star Labs research facility that the Fearsome Five had ambushed. Jinx was imprisoned there along with Neutron, and she later decided to join the group and take part in their nefarious activities. In fact, she stayed back with the group even after Neutron parted ways. Speaking of her powers and abilities, she is primarily seen getting her source of power by being in physical touch with the Earth, the one she has a physical connection with. Using magic, she is capable of flying, elemental manipulation, producing energy blasts, as well as casting illusions. Citizens of the Earth, this is Dr. Thaddeus. Dr. Savanna. Dr. Thaddeus Savanna is predominantly known to be the arch enemy of Captain Marvel, and in this case, he is also the one to have assembled back the members of the Fearsome Five. We are talking about assembling Simon, Mammoth, Gizmo, Jinx, and also going to the extent of reviving Shimmer back to life. While it is true that he is in possession of no such powers, there is no denying the fact that he is a highly dangerous scientist, one that is in possession of a genius-level intelligence. It is precisely this that gives him an advantage over his enemies because his intellect aids him in creating a plethora of technological weapons as well as interesting gadgets. <laughs> Where else have they appeared? Let's begin with television. The trio of Gizmo, Jinx, and Mammoth has made appearances in the anime-influenced animated superhero television series, Teen Titans, developed by Glenn Murakami and David Slack and Sam Register. Shimmer, Mammoth, and Simon are seen joining hands with Icicle Jr. and Wonder Woman villain Devastation in Beneath, the fifth episode of the second season of Young Justice. Shimmer, prepare for takeoff, then go upstairs and confirm the flight plan. I want this bird in the air and... Shimmer is also seen making an appearance in the second season of the live-action Titan television series titled Titans, where her character is seen getting thrashed by Donna Troy and Starfire in Chicago. As for Gizmo, his character is seen making an appearance in the third season where he is seen stealing a biochemical drug at Dayton Labs in San Francisco. Eventually, he is prevented from doing so by Nightwing, Starfire, Connor, and the Beast Boy. Speaking of video games, the Fearsome Five have appeared in the free-to-play action combat called DC Universe Online. The game stars Dr. Light, Simon, Mammoth, Gizmo as well as Jinx. In LEGO DC supervillain Simon along with Dr. Light, Jinx, Gizmo, 
and Mammoth have made their appearances. Gotham's crime community turns to for all their inside info. How's it going? Calculator. Things you should know about Fearsome Five. You will be surprised to know that there is an altered version of the Fearsome Five featured in Teen Titans. Here, the characters of Gizmo, Jinx, and Mammoth are seen attending Hive Academy and also forming a group known as the Hive Five when in reality there happens to be six members. Post the final crisis, Fearsome Five was reconstructed with new members, Calculator, Nano, and Rumble beside Shimmer, Mammoth, and Jinx. Our stress is on Calculator, one that was initially a Batman villain and time after time attempted to overpower the Justice League. Calculator, whose real name happens to be Noah Cutler, decided to join Fearsome Five after he made up his mind to go against the Titans, and it goes without saying that he eventually became the leader too. It is also a known thing that the group has time and again proven itself to be incompetent. Over the years, we have also seen members of the group getting killed. So, with DC giving it a reboot, in New 52, the Fearsome Five appeared revamped. With Simon, Shimmer, Mammoth, Gizmo, and Jinx, they are actually seen working with a society of supervillains. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone. Out of my head!